The full impact of COVID-19 remains to be seen. At this stage, disputes are likely to focus on whether parties are entitled to excuse themselves from performance of their contractual obligations by force majeure, frustration or otherwise. Our senior associate Shahab Mamdo clarifies the key points of this issue. How does the UAE Civil Code regulate force majeure? Before uh, answering the question, we have to define what is a force majeure. Force majeure is an act of God, whereas a complete uh, hard circumstances will force one of the parties of the, the contractual agreement not it will be uh, uh, not to conclude and to uh, deliver or perform his obligation in as per the contractual agreement uh, so therefore uh, uh, the force majeure when it's applicable uh, as we said it has to be an act of God it has to be something which is generally happening uh, not to one person, but for it affect a region or a, a state or a nation uh, or a period of time. And then there is a huge difference between the force majeure and the hardship. Dif why we are talking about both uh, impact? Because force majeure and hardship are close in definition, but the impact or implementation of each is completely different than the other. Is the concept of force majeure applicable to the COVID-19 pandemic as per the UAE law? As we said earlier, uh, the force majeure is an act of God. And uh, it's a natural disaster that happened or occurred in, in a region or in a state uh, which affected uh, uh, hardly a performance of any contract and make it impossible to be performed. So therefore, uh, uh, whether it will be applicable to this situation or not, uh, it's a uh, big room for the UAE law uh, to identify that. How? Because the UAE law did not specifically put a, a clear definition of the force majeure. And as we, that, as we said, the, the, there, are, there is a difference between the force majeure and the uh, hardship. Uh, we believe, according to our experience, that the situation that we are facing at the moment with the uh, coronavirus is uh, uh, it, sh it would be applied under or, or would be considered as a hardship more than a force majeure because we believe at certain point that this uh, uh, hard time and hard situation uh, uh, will pass and uh, uh, we will recover such hard time. Therefore, it will not be impossible to implement or perform the contract. It can cause a delay or a damage if the contract is performed during this time. And uh, uh, the UAE courts here, since the, the, since the law did not uh, specifically define the force majeure uh, uh, and what are the reasons behind that, they give a full discretion to the judges to identify what shall be considered as a force majeure and what not. Therefore, uh, the implementation of the force majeure uh, uh, on this situation uh, can fall or trigger only uh, depending on two reasons. First reason is, is there must be a contractual agreement between two parties. Second reason that a natural disaster has happened, such as hurricane, uh, such as earthquake, such as a war or a pandemic uh, uh, issue like the. the that, that we are seeing, seeing at the moment, which is a natural disease uh, which is affecting the whole world. We believe, as we said, that what we are seeing at the moment will be fall under the, the uh, uh, har uh, hardship because at certain point the performance of the contract can be uh, uh, performed uh, after we pass this time. How the court will apply that? The court will apply that according to the law uh, civil uh, transaction law article number uh, 249 where the judge will look into the situation and the circumstances and will try to reduce the harm from the obliged person to perform his contract but they will not terminate the contract and this is the difference between the hardship and the force majeure if a force majeure happened the court will immediately apply the termination of the contractual agreement between the parties and in this situation both parties has to return back to the normal state uh, that they were at before performing the contract.
But in hardship situation, uh, the, the judge will not terminate the contract. Uh, the judge will uh, apply the rule where he can reduce uh, uh, the obligation of any of the parties who's facing, who's facing the hardship situation to make it possible to perform his obligation according to the contractual agreement. What are the main consequences for the maritime insurance market? When we speak about insurance uh, uh, to cover any uh, aspect in the maritime industry, as we all know, insurance policies uh, mostly, or 99%, have exclusions. When you have an exclusion, it's clearly mentioned as uh, mentioning the force majeure that uh, where the insurance company will not cover in such situation. If there is no exclusions, then uh, any damage that may happen or occur to the insured will be covered. In our situation here, as we said, uh, um, insurance companies, if, it's, if they are not covering uh, uh, the damage that happened to the insured, Therefore, as we said, the uh, hardship uh, concept will be applicable in here. Uh, whereas, because of the city with circumstances and situations surrounding the, the industry affecting the performance of the contract, therefore, according to the UAE law, uh, if the, the dispute will be referred to the court, the judge will look into such things as a hardship and not as a force majeure because it, the, the, the performance of the contract can be delayed. However, it will not be impossible to be uh, uh, performed. What is your legal advice for companies to implement force majeure? Our legal advice for our audience and our clients is to, uh, if you are not including any force majeure clause in your contract or a hardship clause in, in your contract, it's a time to review and re-review all your agreements, uh, either through your research or approaching your concerned lawyer uh, because in our part of the world the, the word of definition and, the, def and, and the, the terminology in Arabic language it differs uh, according to the sentence somehow so we would recommend you to seek your legal advice from your prospective lawyers in order to be in a safe area and a safe zone and protect yourself for any future circumstances that you may face like what we are seeing at the moment, no one would expect that it will be escalated till this situation. And uh, please do not be, do not hesitate to contact your lawyer. They will know the best and they will advise you in the proper situation and in, in the proper conditions which should be applicable in your 